Give me an excerpt, if I even said that correctly. That's a literary term. Mm -hmm. So this this is part of the letter Mike Gillis sent season ticket holders yesterday. Before last night's thing. This is before last night's this thing. This is before last night's thing. We just can't. Oh, oh you can't just. Re we need a little something. This is, this is emotional. Oh, okay. This is dramatic. Give him uh, some good piano. All right, Perfect. go ahead. Dear XXXX. X, X. Censored name. With the trade deadline a week behind us, I wanted to communicate directly with our season ticket members. You are a very important part of the Canucks family. I'd like to give you more insight into last week's development and our plan for the team going forward. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. I will be inviting you to participate in a webcast when I get home from the GM meetings. Oh my our mission remains the same, to win the Stanley Cup. Mm -hmm. Last summer, we said we had to make some changes to our team. We needed to get younger, faster, stronger to succeed. That process is happening now. Is that the Olympic slogan? As we look to retool by surrounding our veteran stars with new, young talent. You can look to Anaheim as a recent example of a team that is retooled successfully. It's gonna be like Anaheim. They're gonna be. They're gonna be Anaheim. Same. Same thing. They're gonna lose the little Leafs. You need, no. need a Mike Pronger. Boom. Yada yada yada. Having created over five million dollars in cap room to make the right deals for this team. That's a di in addition to the seven million we expect the salary cap to increase to next season. Spending money. Yada, yada, yada. Thank you for your continued support. We are enduring a challenging period, but your passion. Oh, sorry, they endured a challenging third period last <laughs> night. That's, that's, that's correct. Holy cow. Bumps. What? Give me something. Hey, guys, call a timeout. I'm going to throw that one out there. A timeout's there, Torts, if you want. You can call it any time you want. Go ahead, Our organization is committed to doing whatever it takes to win, and we want you to be here with us when we achieve <laughs> our goal. <laughs> Sincerely, Michael D. Gillis. Unbelievable. Outstanding. <sighs> That's an apology. That's how you apologize. I think, uh, I think they might have to write another email today. Oh, I got, I got their email for today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Would you like to hear what I, the draft I've come up with today? I got an email for today. I would love to hear the draft. That I'd you come love up to with. send. Cue the music again, and just run it whenever you feel like it. New email, <laughs> dear X X X X L M F A O X. Right, L M F A O. Hey, it's Mike Gillis. Good to see you. Listen, shut up for a second. I've got something to tell you. Things happen. Could be worse. We could be Juan Pablo from The Bachelor. That guy's a douche. I think he was watching that last night? Maybe. Probably. It's okay. It's okay. What does the rest of this email sound like? I'm, I'm right. Here's the deal. This is what you're basically going to get for the rest of the season. A disorganized group of people who've lost complete faith in that grandstander behind the bench. <laughs> as, a, as a team... We've only won four games out of 17 since Johnny Locker Room wanted to go WWE on Bob Hartley on that Saturday night. I think it's Bob Hartley. Bob. Okay. White out. Yeah. Bob or erasable Hartley. pen. Bob Hartley. Remember those paper mates back in the day? With yeah, the oh, yeah. I got high on those things. Crack. This is basically what you're going to get. So we're going to send each of you a case of 2-4 a month for the rest of the season. What's, what's two for? A case Fear. of two for? Case of two for. Oh, nice. I think it's self-explanatory. What school you went? We're gonna get you a nice, a nice some case of beer. <laughs> Could be worse. Could yeah. be drafting first overall and getting nothing like Edmonton. Sincerely yours, the Gillinator, <laughs> Mike Gillis. <laughs> That's a great track, Neil. Yeah. That's, uh, I like, like the piano is very soothing and Canadian at the same time.